Today we're talking about comping within Cakewalk by BandLab. So this tutorial is going to be geared towards vocal comping, but you can comp any instrument. And if you guys never heard of the term comping before, or you guys have never seen it in action, then you guys are really going to like this tutorial. And if you guys want to learn how to do it properly in Cakewalk, stick around after this introduction. What's going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about comping within Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you are new to recording, you may never have heard of this term before. So what comping is, is it's basically recording multiple takes and picking the best portions of each take and combining them together into one master take. So essentially, you're doing this to create a perfect take and you're doing it surgically. Now, within our DAWs, we don't have to create a individual track for each take. There is a automated process for that and that's what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial. But before we get to that, I wanna let you guys know that I have a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Cakewalk training playlist. So this playlist contains videos ranging from beginner to advanced level, and it's great for anybody who wants to learn more about Cakewalk and get better at using this DAW. So with that being said, let's get into this comping tutorial and learn how to do it within Cakewalk. All right, so to do comping within Cakewalk by BandLab, you first need to make sure that comping is enabled. And to do that, you need to go up to the edit tab in the top left, click that, then go down to preferences and then go down to project and then record. And then you're gonna see recording mode here. Now you wanna select comping and then after you select it, hit apply and then simply hit the close window here. And now you have comping enabled and you're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do in this example is I'm gonna record three takes of me counting to eight and we're gonna go through and pick the best number from each take. Now, yeah, all the numbers are probably gonna sound the same, but at least you'll be able to kind of see an example of how you select takes. And that's what this tutorial is about. So there's something you need to think about though. We're gonna to need to have some time before the recording starts and some time after to kind of prepare for when we go into our next take. So if I want to start recording or I wanna start my numbers on measure two, and I want my numbers to end on measure four, because we're just gonna do them right on the beat, um, we're gonna want to leave some time before and after. So I would actually start my recording at measure one, and I would stop my recording at measure five. And what we need to do for this is we need to utilize loop recording. So to access the loop recording tab, it's just simply right here in the top center. And to turn on loop recording, just press this button right here, which says loop on off. So that enables it. And then you get access to your in and out points right here. Now you can set them by setting the actual start and end times right here, but I prefer just to actually drag the uh, flags right here. It's a lot easier. So we're doing one and we're doing five. So it's actually already there. So we're pretty much ready to go. But again, if you need to change this, you can simply drag it. And if you need to drag it in between the little beats and bars, just turn off snap, okay? So with that being said, Let's rewind to the beginning of this here, and we're actually ready to record. So what's gonna happen is when I hit the record button, this is going to loop record continuously until I actually stop the recording, and it's going to create takes behind the scenes. All right, so let's actually get into this and let's do some vocal recording here, and then we will comp it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I have completed recording three takes of me counting to eight. Now what we need to do is access the take lanes. Now if you go to this button in the bottom left of the track and you hover over it, it says take lanes. Click on that. And you'll see here, here are all the takes that we recorded. 
So you're always going to see one of these takes showing up in your main track here. And by default, it is the last take that you recorded. Now I recommend just leaving it this way, but if you wanna change it, you can actually do that in the preference section where we set our comping earlier, okay? So let's actually expand these here so we can get a better view and we'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so comping is very simple. So if I wanted to keep one and two from my last take, which is already up here, I don't have to do anything. It's already in there, but maybe I like three and four from the second take. So if you have the smart tool selected here and you go over the bottom half of the track, it turns to this little tool here. All you have to do is highlight it like this. And what's gonna happen is it actually popped it right up in here into the main view, okay? That's all you have to do. So. I don't know, maybe I wanna get uh, five and six for my first take. So let's do this here. So we got five and six, as you can see, it went up to there. And maybe we'll take seven and eight from the second take, okay? And then that pops up into here. So essentially what we did was we took a combination of all three takes to create one master take. And you can see the power of this when you're recording multiple vocal takes and you know you want to get the perfect sounding master take all right so something i want you to notice here when we're actually using this comping tool is that i'm on the bottom half of the track you can see it creates a straight line and i guess that's almost like a hamburger icon underneath if i go to the top it disappears this is a selection tool if i highlight it now it does nothing and that's part of it being a smart tool so if you wanted to access this strictly as the comping tool, all you have to do is go up to the edit button here, right click on it, and then go down to comping. And then you can see as I hover over the tracks here, it is strictly on the comping tool the whole time. All right. So that is all there is to comping in Cakewalk by BandLab. It's a very powerful tool. All the professionals use it. It's something that if you're not doing, you need to be doing in your sessions, okay? So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.